and welcome to Nunas Nunchi, season two, where I do deep dives into some of our favorite K-dramas from a mental health perspective, and Nunas Nunchi podcast, where I invite special guests to join me to talk about K-dramas from a mental health perspective, and new this year, Dear Nunas Nunchi, a live show where you can ask advice, ask questions, ask for feedback, talk all things K-dramas with me live from a mental health perspective. What's Nunez Nunchi all about? Looking at K-dramas and how they help us with our mental health, what they teach us about mental health, the powerful intersectionality of our identity, mental health, mindfulness practice, learning about building resilience through watching K-dramas. It's an experience, right? Here's the key question I want you to ask yourself for 2022. What is your Nunchi telling you is the key question I want you to ask yourself in 2022 each time you watch a K-drama and feel something, whether it's sadness, excitement, joy, frustration, anger, getting triggered, feeling re-traumatized. What's your Nunchi telling you? That is how you need to look at your mental health. What can you do to look within, be introspective, Nunchi, the Korean superpower that I love, that I used to not love, but really have come to found that is so special and important in my work. Nunchi, that sharp eye measure, looking, observing, thinking, feeling before even speaking, reading the room, feeling the energy, what's going on, your gut feeling, something you immediately notice. Nunchi, we all can practice it. Yes, indeed. Yes. It's known as the crane superpower, but I really believe that we all can use it and hone it, okay? And it's really important in my work in promoting good mental health. That said, join me 2022 using our Nunchi, my word of the year, being resourceful through our love of K-dramas.